Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is the first day it hasn't rained in three days. Thursday, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see. Monday, rain. Tuesday, a lot of rain on Tuesday. And I made a little road trip. I'll talk about that here in a second. But yeah, just tons and tons of rain on Tuesday. Um, and then yesterday, it was just on and off sprinkles all day long. So today it's, uh, I don't know, low 80s, very, very humid. Still makes you sweat after five minutes outside. And yeah, we're going from there. I do need to make a trip to town today for chicken feed. So, but before I do that, I've got to unload the truck so I can load the truck back up. And I've got stuff in the truck because of my little road trip Tuesday. I went up to visit my friend Monica. Well, we kind of met uh, somewhere. Uh, closer to me than to her, but it saved her a little bit of driving. Uh, did some bartering, and um, I definitely came out a uh, much better end of that deal. Uh, okay, let's take a look. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Monica. If you recall, it was Monica's place that uh, I met up with Papa Pepper and Greg and Chad, and we processed a whole bunch of chickens that Monica raised. Well, her, uh, her property is now on the market, and so she's downsizing some. And I just happen to, you know, uh, need a lot of chicken supplies. <laughs> so, uh, yes, this is a solar energizer, uh, only barely used. And there's a battery, the solar panel charges the battery, and the battery um, runs the energizer that powers the electric fences. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of electric fences. So there are two 100 foot uh, Premier One electric fences in the box. Two 100 feet, I do believe. And then this one that she was using with her meat birds, that's 100 foot and it has one of the Premier gates on it. And I've never had one of those. Uh, I know Jerome B. Farm and Homestead, they've got, uh, they've got the gate set up. I remember seeing them set them up. So yeah, I was able to get these extra supplies so I can expand my flocks. And then she also had two bags of this uh, pine shavings, and that's some premium pine shavings. I use that all the time. Uh, so she passed that along to me. So this is all wonderful, like 300 feet of fencing, uh, an energizer, a gate. Uh, she also sent me home with four of the chickens that we processed that day. So I got four more chickens for the freezer. I already put one in the fridge to defrost it, so I'll be cooking that up in the crock pot soon enough. But yeah, okay, I gotta unload this stuff, so I got, uh, got a place to put the feed when I go to town. We also have a special delivery for Drew. I picked that up, uh, Monica dropped it off. But I uh, hear it, Drew gave up the sodas, so I might have to uh, just store those and I'll, I'll uh, I don't know. But anyway, Drew, if you want it, come and get it. Truck is unloaded. Now I'm gonna go inside and cool off and dry off before I head to town. Uh, yeah, man, I've almost got more, uh, more fencing than I know what to do with right now. I'll figure out what to do with the fencing. I've already got, I already know where I'm putting one of them in the other energizer. And, uh, and I got the supplies for two more coops. So yeah, now it just needs to stop raining so I can do some more stuff outside. But uh, not today. Today I gotta get feed or the chickens will revolt.
Aw, you were following me, weren't you, Fifi? Yes, you were. I just went out to get some some video of the cool mushrooms. Meow. Meow. Okay, I'll scratch it. Oh, and Bob never wants to be left out, do you? It's almost time for Grumpy to come home. Yep, Grumpy came home. It's almost dark. Now, I've been feeding you guys the good stuff lately, so yeah. Grumpy has been coming home a little bit earlier than normal because of the good stuff. Is that right, Grumpy? Hi, Bob. Yeah, you want to scratch, too. You missed out when I was getting fevers. Good evening, number two. Yeah, this isn't a muddy mess like it was uh, earlier today. I got hay down in this coop. This is number two's flock. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep them locked in there uh, until the morning so that I can do some weed eating and uh, kind of realign the fences. So, yeah. Are you going up to roost? It's almost dark. I don't even know how much you can see. So, yeah. Everything's fresh and clean. Hey, diatomaceous earth. They got enough food for the morning. Uh, fresh thing water. And you guys are getting locked up for a few hours in the morning. That's just how it goes. Go on, number two, we're waiting. I gotta babysit you back up to the roost every night because otherwise you'll go up into the trees. Yeah, I know. All right, everybody, be nice. It's bedtime. I know you're all tired and cranky, but be nice. I've got nine Whiting True Blue eggs that went into this uh, little incubator that was gifted to me. So this automatically turns it. This little black tray kind of slides back and forth and there's a slot there where the top goes into to move. Anyway, but yeah, thanks for the incubator. I can now do small batches of my Whiting True Blues that I only have two hens in two different flocks. So. I can do small batches and hopefully get a higher uh, percentage of them hatching. We'll see. It got dark fast and I'm not even done with all my chores yet. So this is going to be it. Uh, it's been just so rainy that I haven't got much filming. And then today getting caught up, I'm just, I got to get back in the groove. I will get back into the groove of doing videos, uh, uh, not every day, but most days. Oh, I just got so many things to get caught up on. Uh, oh, and while I'm, uh, uh, I've got a website. <laughs> I started it. Uh, I'll put a link up above. Bobbleheadstead.com. Bobbleheadstead.com, uh, which is, I also went ahead and bought jefftrig.com, my name. Uh, I've actually owned that before. I've, uh, and I've actually had a website before, way back uh, from like 2000 to, I don't know, 2006, I had a blog, you know, back before people actually made money doing stuff like that. But yeah, I had a, I had a blog, it was uh, politics. I was rated one of the top 10 political blogs of the state of Illinois uh, in like 2004 or something like that, 2003. I don't know. But everything's changed these days because half of people who go to websites do it on their phones. And so when you're building a website, you got to keep that in mind that pe most, you know, half the people are going to be accessing it on their phone. So that's new to me. I'm not an expert by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but I know enough to create that website with no help. Just get a theme, go to town. Uh, there are some, there's some stuff I just can't figure out yet. But yeah, my whole idea behind that website uh, in the near term is 
when I've got uh, stuff that's available, instead of explaining to every single person, this is a Welsimer crossed with a white and true blue, back crossed to another Welsimer. Instead of explaining all that, I can point them to the website and say, uh, this is exactly what you're getting. And um, so that'll make things easier on me. And it's probably, I've got a blog on there, but I'm probably not gonna be doing that right away. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm just messing around with it right now. Uh, because I, I can't see how it's going to be useful next year uh, to give a place for people to go to see you know what kind of things uh, what kind of chicks and chickens I might have available and it really is getting dark so thanks for watching uh, thanks for making it so busy around here <laughs> take her easy everybody